We are going to be painting a quick and easy uh, like snowy pine tree and to do that I am going to have a size 6 brush. We're going to start by mixing up some green. So we want a pretty dark shade like a pine shade. And then we want to have some lighter variation as well. So maybe add in a little sap green. I'm not sure what my really dark one is here, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you don't have a dark green, just add a little black to it. And you can also add a little bit of like indigo if you wanna make it slightly blue. Okay, that should be good. Now we're painting in more of a loose style. So if you need a guideline, just grab a pencil and make a straight line. And if you feel like you really need a guideline, you can also make a triangle. So it'll kind of just give you a rough outline. Now how we're going to make sure that there's like snow on this tree is we're gonna, going to skip some parts. So grab your paintbrush and we're gonna start at the top. And I'm about at a 45 degree angle and I'm just making a little line. And if you're familiar with like, I think it's a Douglas fir, just like some little lines up here. And then I'm going to make it come out and I'm just using the point of my brush to make these little branches. I'm gonna leave a spot right there. Now I'm gonna skip down and grab, grab a little bit of a lighter color and I'm make, leaving a pretty big gap, but I'm always coming out from the center here and same thing. Just these little swishes. Maybe I grab a little dark again. Then I'm going to rinse off my brush and grab just water. And I'm going to lightly tap this. And I'm just pulling down a little water and a little color. But I'm making sure to leave parts of the paper completely dry. Just grabbing that water again and pulling down some of that color. And right here you can connect it because it's not going to be a perfect line of snow. And then just kind of pull out that diluted color out to the edges. And then maybe you wanna do the same thing up here as well. And then we move down to our second branches. Now we want this to look interesting, not like the same thing over and over again. So maybe we touch in some of that darker color and then pull down these branches. And we're going in a cone shape, so it's going to get bigger as we get to the bottom. Grab a little more saturated color. You can also poke in some different colors. And then Maybe make some of the branches go down a little bit. Maybe this one comes in a little bit more. Then I'm going to rinse off my brush, grab just water, and just lightly tap some of this. I'm almost making it look like the snow's coming off the edge by just bringing that, that watery green color down. And you're just going to do this all the way down the tree. Make sure you're alternating between colors, otherwise it'll, it'll get kind of boring. And maybe this part, there's a lot more green showing. You could also do like barely any snow coming on this side. And then just grabbing that water and lightly touching that top branch so it bleeds, but not so much that you're covering up the white of the paper. And I am going to make more of a white space here to show that maybe there's a big pile of snow right here. And then the same thing. It's important to make sure that this is still wet 
when you come in there with just water to make it look like snow. Basically what's happening is you're wanting to make it look like the snow is reflecting the branches. And it's gonna change a little bit, but when we get to the bottom, we're gonna add in some new colors. So stick with me here. I'm just, again, I'm just using the tip of my brush at an angle. And every once in a while, I'm gonna grab maybe uh, that sap green color. So it's not too much of the same over and over and over. And sometimes your branches can go up, sometimes they can go down. This is nature, so it's not going to be perfect. I'm grabbing just water again. And I'm just putting in some of, make sure if you start to get too much paint on your brush to rinse it off again so you're getting just water. And we're starting to get to the bottom. So I'm gonna show more of the center leaves coming out or branches. And maybe it's just a little more thick down here. You can use more of the belly of your brush by pressing down to make it a little thicker. But something I really like to do here is I like to come in with a blue um, not like super dark blue, but something like that. And then I do the same thing. It looks like I'm drawing branches, but essentially what I'm doing is showing that there's snow down here. Then I'm going to grab just water and lightly blend it in. So to me, what this looks like is the branches hit the ground because they're flooded with snow. And then I like to put, grab darker color blue, like an indigo, and just lightly tap it in. So you really get that uh, shadowy, close to the ground look. And you can grab just plain water and pull it down even more if you want to. So we need to grab water and come up here to some of these areas to give that sh snowy shadow feel. And you have to work pretty quick because it's drying <laughs> as we go. And it's really dry where I live right now. So one other way I wanna add some interest to this is I'm going back to my really dark green color. You can add black if you wanna make yours dark. And I'm just going to poke in where I think there would be more shadows. So maybe down the center, there's a little more shadows. Just make it here and there. You can also use the tip of your brush to just show more um, like dimension, I guess. You don't wanna add it everywhere, but here and there will add a lot to your painting because it draws your eye in. So it's looking like deeper and deeper. Maybe up here. And I would say that this is just about done. And there you are, a snowy tree, super easy and fast. We used a wet on wet tech, well, we use wet on dry and wet on wet. But let me know how you guys enjoyed this tutorial in the comments. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please follow me at Lavender and C. Also tag me if you created this tree. I love to see what you guys create. All right, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you have an amazing day.